Hey, my name is Shadow Sense, and you're watching Sea of Stars. We've made it to Wraith Island, and I gotta turn down my personal volume a little bit because I'm using direct monitoring in my microphone, and I can hear myself, and I was very uh, sibilance heavy. Uh, wait, Chowdhury? That's a MP. Okay. I'm gonna do two basic salads. You know, I don't really use the magic point, like, regain stuff that often, so I don't even know if I'm gonna, like, <laughs> continue to use it. Um, or continue to make any. I already have two, so I should be fine. For an herbed filet, and let's say a roast sandwich. I feel like that sounds pretty good to me. And how are we looking? We're looking full on everything, so we can go into Wraith Island. It looks and sounds spooky. Oh! And then we got some spookum, spookum enemies, uh, 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 enemies, and enemies, spookum and enemies. I'm very good at speaking. Ooh, music's slightly different. Okay, I like that. Bonk. Get a double hit. Then two swords. That works. That works. Not enough for the moon, though. Ow. Oh, that hurts. Hmm. Woodland spirit. Are you perceptive to ba to bashing? Bonk. Uh oh. Ow. Alright, I actually need to turn down the volume. <laughs> I'm hurting myself. There we go. That's better for me. It probably won't change anything on your end, so don't worry. Uh, this is stuff I need to dial in before I actually start recording shit. Um. Hmm. Should I boost this? Yeah, it won't hurt. Hit him with the Moonerang, baby! Let's go, Valir. Bonk. Gotta keep track of where I am in relation to the enemies. There we go, there we go, that was good. Hmm. Ooh, just straight up killed that one. Cool. Oh, he's gonna do chomp chomp. Come on! I hit the block button. That... Uh, Lonzon, I guess is what it's called. Its attacks are very hard to time. To get the block off. Alright, uh, guys, y'all got hurt real bad. So, let us take a moment. Uh, you eat a roast sandwich. In Zale, you're actually fine, so, uh, let's just keep going. And hope we don't get our entire buttholes destroyed. Oh, that's a cave. Do I want to- Ooh! A rainbow conch. What do I use those for?! Okay. Huh. Alright, what's down there? What's here in the cave, boys? What you got in here? Some mushrooms? The treasure chest was a lie! We got mimicked. We got mimicked so bad. Are right, we gonna moon moonering? Moon 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 bonk. Keep wanting to look down at the screen because that's where I typically am for these fights. Cool. Uh oh. I hit the button for that. I know I keep saying that, but it's real. I I'm hitting the button and it's not doing the thing. Or it's registering it too early. I'm gonna blame the controls. I'm gonna blame the game. Group heal? What? 
Who said you're allowed to heal? Uh, certainly not me. You know what? For, just for that, I'm hurling you. Yeet! Get hurled, idiot. Oh, jeez. Alright, I need that. Only knocks down one moon, but... Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, it did. So, that worked out. There we go. That was a good block. That was not a good block. In fact, that wasn't a block at all. Because I completely missed. <laughs> Alright, mistimed it. You're gonna get hurled. Idiot. Hmm. Crescent arc. Oh! A two-for-one special. Love that for me. Oh, the chest is actually real. A calcite lid. What does that do for him? Ooh. Magic. Er, attacks and magic up. I never equipped the power belt on him? Could have swore I did. Like a long time ago. Alright, do I have any other equip equipments? No. Okay. I need more equipments. Let us continue deeper into the spooky island. Oh, more Lonzons. Oh. They just completely ignored me. I'll fight them, though. I want that XP! Valir, why are you over there and not over here? Ugh. Making it difficult for me. I'll boost his sun power. I get no moon power out of that, though. There we go. That's a block. That's another block. Um, Garl, hurl. Hurl him. Yeet. Get tossed, dummy. Ow. Ow. What the fuck? That was a new attack. I was not prepared. Not prepared for that one. God, I feel like my attacks are doing nothing to these enemies. Alright, alright. Oh, they all attack now. Ow. Oh, Valir's down. Fuck you and your group heal. That's inconsiderate and rude of you. Oh, they're all at full now. What the fuck? God damn. Alright, shit. I can hit them all with this. Mm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, where's my item that everybody heals? Oh, I don't have that anymore? Cool. I blocked that! Also, how is that hitting for 60? If this fucking thing doesn't stop healing, I'm going to lose my shit. What a fucking loser. Come on. I lost to a bunch of chumps. All for what, XP? God damn it, man. That's embarrassing. I can't believe that happened. I gotta go back and get the calcite lid. I can ignore these enemies here. I have to fight the ones in here to get the calcite lid, though. Yeah, there's three of these nerds. 
God damn. I'm actually really mad about that. How did they expect you to hit some of these moon and sword stuff? Like, right off the bat, when you have no combos built up. I don't get that. Doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Haha, <laughs> knocked out of rotation, bitch. Fuck off. Oh, the group heal is like these guys' worst ability. Alright, cool. Just gonna wail on one until it's dead, I suppose. This should work out in my favor. Yeah, Gazelle's next. And that one's dead. Come on. I hit the block. Getting so mad. Oh, three sword? Okay. I could do two sword. Can't do three sword. But I can't kill you, bitch! What'd you drop? Some meat. Let's re equip the calcite lid and the power belt. Let's make a mad dash back to the save point so I can just load back there the next time I die. And not have to. God fucking damn it. Ugh. It's because I went the wrong way. But that's fine. Just kill these guys. I really need to time those time these attacks better. Okay, okay. Hit him real good with that. Hmm. I forgot that only counts for one moon hit. Alright, alright, alright. Let's just kill this one outright so it doesn't attack. It's still alive! Cool! Awesome rad! And it's gonna do a motherfucking group heal. <sighs> Garl twists his nuts off. Thank you. Clear will finish the job that you couldn't. Damn you. You stupid zombie fuck. And dead. Overkill just because I'm mad. Good criminy Christmas. Wait, I think I gotta remake my food too. I do. I do have to remake my food. Jesus. Herbed fillet. And now, the roast sandwich. All right, now, we save the game. So the next time I die, I can just reload. Good God. Um. Hmm. Carl Nourish, yeah. 
Now hopefully we don't get assaulted and decimated. All because I wanted some XP. That's all I wanted was some XP, man. Take out the main threat first. Take out the group healer. Okay, okay. I did pretty decent damage. Good blocks. Fuck. Missed that one. Hmm. That works out. That looks like he's vulnerable to, like, a poison attack. But of course, I don't know. Because I don't have that attack. Earl? And then... Kill! Nice. Now, Zale, you will need to heal Garl. Oh, not by much. Weak heals. He's still alive! He's still alive! That means he can heal himself with an herb fillet. Good blocks, good blocks. Souls to strike this. Good, good, good. Sunball should kill them both, maybe, hopefully, yes. Yes. Okay. They dropped a bone. Town of Lucent and Docks. Oh boy, let's see the over. Ooh, this is properly spooky. I really like it. The Town of Lucent. Oh boy. Sir? It becomes tiring always being on the edge of wondering who will be next. I can't blame those who choose to spend their time at the tavern. Yeah, if I had to guess the same, I'm gonna rob you of all of your tomatoes. Just letting you know. Oh, wait. Ha ha ha. Oh, ma'am? Sometimes I can hear cheers and applause coming from the river. It's really strange. That does sound strange. That mansion and its cursed voice took everything from me. My son, my husband, and too many of my friends. Why hasn't she called me yet? That's some Junji Ito type shit. Oh no. Oh no no no. You are not getting the contents of my chest. If you want it, you're going to have to get my brother to make amends. Alright, gonna have to find her brother. Oh, I wish there were plants over there that I could I could take for myself. This fountain has seen better days. So have I. Adults are too afraid to come outside like that changes anything. I tried to enter the shed on the other side of the bridge, but it's locked. I wonder what's in there. I'm sure I'll find out. Wait, where else? General store. Well, I'm glad that there's soul shop in this wretched place. Looking for items? Um, yeah, actually. Wait, do I have anything that I can sell? I guess I could sell one set of basic armor. I mean, it's extra armor. Get rid of the rock lid, get rid of the cauldron lid. I don't have any, like, jewels or anything. Looking for equipments. Hmm. Bone armor. Calcite lid. Scrimshod sword. Ooh. Equip. And sell. And then I'm gonna buy... How do I increase how many of these I want? 
sure. Sell the pirate garb. Sell the basic armor. Cool, cool, cool. Gold tooth. Price reduction in all shops. Oh, neat. I need 225 gold for that, so. Guess I'll come back when I have that much money. Goes over the bridge. The creepy locked shed. I don't have anything. They're gonna unlock it. Hello? Have you seen the ghost of the western end of the village? I'm not going anywhere near that thing. I have not. Ew, I'm swimming in poop water. That's just what I'm going to assume that this is. It's some sign of some sort of poop water. Maybe I'm just being immature. Oh, is there really nothing over here? That's kind of upsetting. You let me swim in an area and there's nothing I can like, oh wait, hey, hey. A rainbow conch. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Do love me a good conch. All right, let's go into the big uh, mansion and see what the main uh, mission of this particular town is. Oh, wait, what's in here? Those who try to leave just get called right away. I don't know why you came here, but I'm sorry to say, so I'm sorry to say you're stuck here all the same. Mm hmm. We'll see about that. There isn't much to do here. Kind of ironic that the stew is our signature dish. That's all we do all day ourselves. Stew! God, I could go for some good stew right now, you know? Oh, this is the tavern. The first stage of grief. What a name. Hello? Welcome, new visitors, to the first stage of grief. His name would be Edgar. Please join us and allow yourselves to cope in whichever way suits you best. I will be your enabler for tonight. Just remember to be respectful and supportive of the other patrons and always entertain their stories. I'll let you grab a seat. How would you like anything to- would you like anything to eat or drink to help your reassurances go down easier? Hello! We bring good news, innkeeper. The Solstice Warriors have arrived to take care of the Dweller. Why, of course they have. About my question, though, would you like any food or beverages to supplement the stories you'll be telling yourselves? Uh... But it's true! Undoubtedly, this will surely come to pass, just as my most recent day trip to Brisk. Oh, it was so lovely. Now for the third time, will you be needing anything else? We could use a room for a few days. Naturally, most temporary guests do. Hey, we really are here to cleanse the island. We're just waiting for the others. Absolutely, and I'm here by choice. Uh. Enjoy your stay at the first stage of grief. May it take your mind away from the inevitable. And speaking of enjoyment, a band of musicians has just arrived. The show is about to begin. Oh, we already know them. We asked them to bring uh, bring us to your island. My, that is quite obviously factual. I commend your ability to pretend. You will fit right in. Your room is being prepared. Just let me know when you are ready to sleep. Ouch. These poor people have been coping for so long. It's like they, they can't even deal with reality anymore. Good thing we're here to end this. Well, as soon as we have the eclipse. And back up. I'm sure you'll both do great. Whoa, Keenathan's got an accordion. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, young man, this here is a concertina. I, what is a what is a, what is a concertina if not just a weird accordion? Am I right? Listen here, chums. We be the pirate crew that will someday claim the Vespertine. Oh, that is so happening. 
Our eyes have been on the prize for a long time now. Every day we refine our plan. And every night we see her in our dreams. I can leave anytime I want. Anytime? Hey, that's my middle name. We live for adventure and for new horizons. Captain's word one day we'll even sail the sea of... Yolande! Aye aye, Captain. Apologies, Captain. They could totally go right now. Clearly the only issue is that they don't have a ship yet. When the going gets tough, we like to play a song. It goes something like this. Dude, nice double bass. They have a little octopus playing the flute. <laughs> hey, so about Garl. Yeah, he can't fight the Dweller with us. But do you think we made a mistake? I mean, it's great to have him, it's just... I know, I could never forgive myself if we failed to protect him. No way, you guys are the best! At least he's having a good time. <laughs> I've been thinking about cleansing the cleansing a lot too. Yeah, I'm sure glad we're not in charge. I thought saving the world would be all action and glory, but what these people have endured is all too real. Well, all the more reason to give it all we've got, right? Right. So, what now? We take a break, I suppose? Now that is scary. <laughs> Let's just try to enjoy the place. Uh, try as we might. Have a feeling some shit's gonna go down. My, this is quite a good show. Better enjoy it before the band leaves for another island, probably tomorrow. The only reason I'm staying in Lucent is to be with my friends. Uh-huh. Sure, that's the only reason. I could play a game, but I don't want to. Lots of new faces today. It seems everyone wants to come to Lucent, and I can see why. This place is flawless. Another round, please. Now that is what I call good music. What's concertina? Ready to rest? Not yet. I want to talk to the pirate captain. She don't want to talk. Had you not met my little friend here? Amazing flutist. That was flautist. Music, now that's the one thing I can get behind. Same. Want to see me slap that bass, pal? Yes. Slap the shit out of it. This is awesome! Alright, well, I think we've had our fill of fun. Time for bed. A few days of rest later... So, you're really going to buy a ghost ship with the magic coin we fetched? That's the plan! Hey, after the cleansing here is done, we'll be free to do whatever we want, right? Maybe we could sail with them for a while. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Why, I reckon a bigger vessel will require more hands indeed. Huh, I could sure go for being a sailor cook. No, a pirate chef. Sure has a nice ring to it. You're in, you're more than welcome aboard. Anyway, the captain said uh, that the three of you had... Voltrade! Aye, apologies, captain. Well, if luck would have it, might be fun to sail together for a little while. Just maybe... Just maybe what? What is the captain hiding from us? What is that music? Oh! Um, he's floating. Does anybody see that? Oh. My, my, my. Remember ten seconds ago when absolutely nothing happened? It was so boring. I wish something special occurred for once. Next round's on me. Woohoo! Okay. Don't like that. That was... The Dweller of Woe. 
So it's true, this poor villager is just going to sleepwalk into the mansion and... Unless... Unless... Forget it, you can't save that villager. Y'all right, Captain? Ain't sound like yourself. I mean, it'd be a useless endeavor, I... it'd be... Right. Now how about you fellow follow the captain's advice here and don't try anything stupid. We're going. But you can't, the barrier's impenetrable. You'll have to wait for the eclipse. Hmm? Well, we won't sit here while someone is about to be eaten alive. You don't understand, the mind control spell connects the dweller to its prey. You're not strong enough to stop that villager. Captain? We'll see about that. Let's go, Zale. This might be a suicide mission. Wait for me. Garl's definitely having second thoughts. Oh, hey, Captain. Something need doing? Hmm. I just need to check on the raft. Why not send Voltrade? Some fresh air will do me good. Of course, Captain. As you wish, Captain. The three of you the three of you stay here until I return. And do try to liven up the place. These people be needing it. Aye aye, Captain. <gasps> Her hook hand is a fake. Time to improvise. The cursed woods are north to the north of Lucent. We should use the eastern exit. Good to know, good to know. But first, before we do anything, save the game again. Just so we're protected. Up and over the bridge. And into the woods. Hey, what's on here? A uh, fishing lake? In the middle of the spooky woods? Ferryman's Vigil. Well. Greetings, adventurers. Seek you passage across these waters. Then show me your colored flame or leave this place in shame. Rainbow conscious don't work. Well, we'll figure that out at some other time, I guess. For now, we just go up. Oh, there's a fishing lake up there. What is this? Solstice Shrine? Oh, oh, okay. I thought I'd just jump down into a bottomless pit. There's nothing over here. What the hell? Rude ass. Oh, I'm gonna go. Whoa, you can really just hug the edge of the screen there, huh? There's a save point here. And then multiple ways down. I doth suppose. Hmm. So I can't just jump across there? No. Obviously I need like a second lamp or something to put on this little like pedestal here. I'm sure I'll figure, I'll figure that out too. And then there's a haunted creek. How appropriate. But first, we must go through the cursed woods. Hello, spooky- oh my- oh my! What is that? It looks like a Pumpkaboo, or a Trevenant, from Pokemon. He's chasing me! I actually want to fight him. Um... Erin Tree. Okay. I guess that's what it's called. Then I'll just hit the Woodland Spirit with two of Zale's sword strikes.
Bonk, bonk. Knocked out of rotation, dummy. Ow. Okay. So he do a preliminary bounce and then he do a big bounce. Gotcha, gotcha. Now the woodland spirit is dead. Vulnerable. And then... Dead. Much easier than the zombies. Then again, that was only two enemies. So I shouldn't get too ahead of myself. Oh, this is just if I happen to mispress a button and drop down there. Ooh. Berries. Cursed berries. Thank god there's a save point here. Manor, Lucent. Brambles are blocking the way. We should find their source. Hmm. Follow the brambles through the cursed woods, a tale as old as time. Ah, so plant. Gotcha. Then I could do the same strategy here with the moonerang and then Zale. I am scared to look at how strong the plant is, but I have a feeling it might not be that strong. Okay, 28. That's pretty pretty hefty. Pretty hefty strike. Get blocked, dummy! It has... Oh. That's not too bad. As far as hit points go. Especially if I can hit it for just so much damage. And then Sunball. Because why not? Unleash the power of the sun! And dead. And there go all the brambles. Cool, cool, cool. Also, oh, I wish I could take that lamp. Bring me anything but the lamp. You take it, what you, I, what's the quote from Aladdin? Take what you want, but the lamp is mine. I should know that quote. Aladdin's my favorite 2D animated Disney movie. My favorite movie of all time is Toy Story. I don't know if I've mentioned that on the channel before. I might have in some video of like fucking 10 years ago almost. This channel's been around for almost 10 years, which is wild to think about. Alright, nothing here. Okay. Nothing spooky. Spookiest thing so far has been that wooden bridge. Oh, there's zombies. Then another plant enemy soon. Why do you fucking make me do that? Oh. You suck, zombie. I hate you. I hate you, zombie. Oh! He also does it like a, a shoot him kick. I fucking blocked that. That should have counted as a block. <sighs> I really should have. Sorry, Garl. God, I had to blink so many times during that. Blocked. Blocked. Ooh, Zale. You need a mushroom? No, you need more than a mushroom scramble. You need a roast sandwich. Okay, cool. Garl's back up. This is this is what I wanted. I can knock the zombie out of rotation! 
Oh, baby. Zale, take him out. Oh, I could just kill him too. Yeah. Super low. Now leave my girl alone. Nourish her. Throw a tomato right in her face. Right into her open maw. I forgot the tree is vulnerable to bashing. Try to kill the zombie with one hit. Nice. Block the kick, block the kick. Oh, come on, that didn't kill it. God damn. That did. Thank Christ. Alright, who's. Uh, Valir's really hurt, actually, so. Let's do that. Ooh, actually. Garl, too. Was pretty damaged during that fight. Alright, where's the plant responsible for these brambles? Is that a dead zombie? Ah, oh, fuck, he was alive. Oh, we have this bitch down here. Hmm. Okay, that counts. Ow. Damn it. Too slow. Knock the zombie out of rotation, though. This is good. Alright, what are you vulnerable to, you bitch? God fucking damn it. I can't time that one. Apparently, I can't time that one either. No, fuck you. Fuck off with your bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna do a group heal. Fuck you. You stupid cow. I'm mad. I'm mad about that. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? You're getting hurled. No more group heals for you, you stupid fucker. You know what? Sunball him. Just sunball him. There. I can deal with the chomp chomp. Especially if I can block it like that, like a boss. That was a hard fight. Oh, I thought the camera was gonna follow the brambles as they went away. Across for some mushrooms. Should probably do a little bit of healing here. Everybody's fucking low. That's all I have left. I only have MP restores. Later, nerds. Not gonna fucking bother with you right now. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game, for putting... Oh, I, I should have fucking cooked, rested, and then saved the game. Let's make four salads. Mm, 
two roast sandwiches. And an herbed filet. And then, rest. And then save game. Now we continue, continue our trek through the cursed woods. Okay, brambles are that way. What's to the left of here? <gasps> More brambles. Okay. Where does this take me? Where the fuck am I going? Oh, oh, there's two of them that I gotta fight. Obsidian ore. Cool, I can sell that. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad news bears, baby. Okay, that somehow worked. Good block. Good blocking. I'm just gonna sunball. Sunball and pray, babies. I don't like the chomp chomp. It does so much damage. Even if you block it, it does so much fucking damage. God damn. Fuck you. Ugh. Maybe double moon power? I don't know. Okay, killed one zombie, killed one zombie. Kill two zombies, kill two zombies. This is good. Fuck. Completely whiffed on that block. Fuck! It, that attack is so fast! It's hard to block. God, fuck it. I have not blocked a single one of that thing's attacks. And it's pissing me off. God damn it. Pick up all the shit. What it, the fuck is over? What the hell? Got a shimmering shard. What does that do? Increases damage dealt to undead by 15%. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Keep it on Garl for now. Just have him smack zombies all day. That'd be a pretty sick gig. God, that fight wore me the fuck out, man. Gotta do another rest <laughs> right away. God. And after every rest, I'm gonna compulsively save. Just because I'd, if I die, I don't want to have to do a bunch of shit again. Up. And up. And now we have a bunch of woodland spirits. <clears throat> and a singular undead. Cool. I'll attack that one. For the two moon. Good. Good. 
God, I'm getting worse at that. I wish you just did that attack all the time instead of the chomp chomp. The chomp chomp sucks. Fuck! I was slow on that one too, I guess. My reflexes are betraying me. Ooh, 43, that's really good. See if I can hit this deflect on all of this. Get some good combos off. All right, two things said. Yeah, finally. Fucking blocked it, man. That said, that's gonna do a thing. I don't know what it's gonna do. That. Bonk. And Valir is about dead. And then the next area has been unlocked. Bone armor? Hey. Would you like- oh, you can't wear bone armor. And I'm already wearing bone armor. I have an extra set of bone armor that I can sell now. Hey, that's good for me though. I can get that uh, golden tooth. Or whatever the relic was. Go back and rest. Go back and save. And then proceed. Good. Hope you guys are having a good time with this, by the way. I know these episodes are a bit longer and not as much editing occurs, but I'm having a good time. That's just gonna be the way it is with RPGs. There he is. Hey, wait! Yeah, where's that strength coming from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. His soul gonna get eated. Also, I'm looking at... There were a bunch of faces in, like, the purple fog. That's such a cool touch. <sighs> we failed. But... The Dweller's grasp is too strong. The captain was right. Can we go in? Maybe it's not too late. No way we'd break that barrier. Even the headmaster will uh, will need the eclipse to get us through. So we just give up? If we die in vain, we can't help anyone. You're right. Maybe it won't be too late by the time you do the cleansing. Uh, uh let's head back for now. I'm I've sure had enough of these woods. Another one already? Maybe we made it angry by trying to help. We should have listened. <gasps> oh, fuck. Garl? Garl, no! Valir, hang on! That's not fair, you can't take him! Um... Who in the... Excuse me? Hey! I was hoping we could meet under different circumstances. Explain yourself right now! I'm not your enemy. I used numbing, uh, I used numbing poison to paralyze your friend's body. It was either that or letting him walk through that gate. It's a long shot, but if we hurry, we might be able to fetch a soul stone. A soul stone? Enchanted gems that dispel powerful curses. Someone on this island uses them to remain free of the Dweller's Grasp. I'm gonna take a guess here and say that's Edgar. If we get one, it should consume the mind control spell on your friend. 
I know just the place, but... Well, what are we waiting for, then? I wish I had more time to explain. Zale, are you okay? I... Yes, we need to find a soul stone. First, let's take him back to the inn. We have to hurry, over here. The shortcut will help. A mysterious assassin joins the party. Okay. What was that with Zale? You have a heart attack? Or a palpitation or something? That's crazy. Alright, let's see how powerful this assassin is. First, I got a Moonerang, as I do. Alright, this is good. This is good. Keeping the rhythm and the rhyme. Nice. Now I'm just gonna sunball right away. Oh, that was not strong enough. I forgot it was a hold. Group heal, fuck you. I'm so sick of that shit, dude. Venomous starts hit all enemies. A well placed kick that delays an enemy's action. Teleports to backstab the target with a venom coated blade. Okay. Heh. <laughs> he got delayed. Good, good, good. The assassin has like no hit points, and it's a little concerning. Good block, good blocking. Ooh, that was a good hit. If I do say so myself. Missed the block on that. Ooh, getting up there on the experience points. Ow, a rock. Ow, another rock. Ow, another rock. Watch out for the rock formations. Jesus, okay. This game is just gonna be like, hey, you, you want enemies? Here, have some enemies. You're gonna get a bunch of them. And I hope you're good at deflecting. That was a good block. That was a good block. Not to toot my own horn. Alright, remember to hold A for power this time. Good, good, good. Fuck you. I swear to god, the more this thing group heals, the more I'm like, I just want you to seppuku. you. Um, yeah, that one. Press A on throw to keep it going. That was bad. That was just bad. I was bad at doing the thing that it told me to do. I was good on that. I've been seeing so just die already. Heh, <laughs> you tried to... I don't even know what to call that attack. A fucking propel propelled kick? Like, I have no idea. Also, how come I can't see these, these enemies' HP? Or can I and I'm just not looking? No, because I saw their HP earlier. I'm not... No. I don't see... The... That's Garl that can do that, right? I think? I don't know. 
I could be completely talking out of my ass. Jesus Christ, okay. Y'all are fucking so fragile. Need healing all the time. What I need is a camp. So I can cook. Let him cook. I'm just gonna ignore those guys. I don't feel like getting my shit kicked in again. Oh, a save point. Cool. Okay. Ugh. I'm gonna hit up the save. And then I'm just... I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. We'll get Garl... Wait. Actually... How... Actually, wait. No, I think that... I think I'm actually close. We can get Garl back to the inn. Okay. Let's do that first. It'll make up for how short the last episode was. This will have to do for now. Now, are you willing to risk your lives in order to save your friend? Absolutely. Then we must hurry to the Necromancer's lair. With a bit of luck, Romea won't be home and we can grab a soul stone unnoticed. Are Necromancers really that dangerous? Romea is one of the three sisters. They are wielders of powerful magic. One of the sisters is good, one evil, and the other neutral. The evil one is a necromancer living on this island, and she is rumored to be the most formidable of the three. As to whether or not that makes her the more powerful sol uh, than solstice warriors, I hope we won't have to find out. How can we get there? East of Lucent is a ferryman who will take us across the bog if we play our cards right. This is the only way to the necromancer's lair. Okay, we have a plan. What's your name, by the way? Sarai. Thanks for the help, Sarai. I don't know what we would have done without you. Hmm. Let's make haste. Garl, we won't fail you, I swear. Oh. The leaders learned the combat skill, skill Lunar Shield. Cool to know. Cool that we have that in our back pocket now. Now I will save the game and end the episode. So, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. It really helps out. Leave a comment down below and like the video. It'll help with engagement. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.